What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Chris Moore and in today's video, we got a 2022 MT-09 SP. That's a lot of letters, a lot of numbers, but one cool bike, Pablo. Pablo in the house, yo. Hey, you want a treat? Psst, psst, come here. Pablo, don't work at the old cycle shop too much, but he's here today because it's raining outside. He had to get out of the house. Anyways, back to the bike. 2022 MT-09 SP installing full steel braided brake lines, Samco coolant hoses, engine ice, engine coolant, and a Indy full exhaust. That's pronounced Indy, E-N-D-Y. Actually, I think that's how it's pronounced. That's how it's spelled for sure. This exhaust, I've never heard of it before, but it's out of Barcelona, Spain. And we are gonna test this thing out, see how it does. This exhaust system was pretty budget friendly, only around 700 US dollars for the full header and everything. Now, we're gonna be doing a review on this thing, see how the fitment quality is, see how the sound is, and see what kind of horsepower we're gonna get once we're all finished. The muffler on this thing is fairly small. I don't know if it's gonna let this thing breathe as much as it needs to or not. It should be interesting to see what this thing comes out. You guys wanna take a guess, see what it makes? think this is going to be the first review of one of these pipes on YouTube. Stay with us guys. Here we go. Just like that, the exhaust system, the coolant hoses, and the brake lines are done. The brake lines actually took longer to do than the exhaust system and the coolant lines combined. So anyways, we got this exhaust system on. We just took it outside, warmed it up. We took the baffle out, and then we put the baffle back in. So I've got the baffle in now. The baffle in it is super, super small. Let's see if I can turn on my light, see if you can see up in there. Look at how small the opening is. So super small opening with the baffle. We'll crank it up. I've got the screw loose on the baffle. So it's gonna blow the baffle out, but you'll get an idea for what it sounds like with the baffle in. Other than that, we'll 
the numbers on the MT-09? 104 and 62 foot-pounds of torque. Let me show you a few things in the ECU that's going on with this bike. Uh, this is the ECU file, so we go to other maps, and then we go to the ETV tables. That stands for electronic throttle valve. When we open this up, we put it in first gear on rider mode one. Look at this, it never even goes wide open throttle. So this right here is your TPS, that's throttle position sensor, that's how much gas you're giving it. This is the RPMs. You can see in first gear, it never goes to 100% throttle. The highest it goes, 85%, and that's at 8,500 RPMs. And then it reduces back to 78% at 10,100. So let's go to fifth gear. That's where we dynoed the bike at. And you can see it did go 100% throttle at 7,000 RPMs, but then it falls back to 81% at 10,000. So overall, super heavy restrictions in these things. We're going to go in and remove all that stuff, get this thing open up where it, if you go 100% throttle, it goes 100% throttle. We're gonna extend the rev limiter out just a little bit, get us a little more horsepower there. And then we're gonna go in and we're gonna lower the fan temps. We're gonna disable the top speed limiter. We're gonna disable the closed loop because we don't want the O2 sensors, which tell the bike to run super lean. We don't want them tell, we don't want that working. In other words, we don't want the bike to lean out because of what the O2 sensors say. So we're gonna disable that. And then we're also gonna disable the decel fuel cut. So what that means is when you let off the throttle, the fuel injectors turn off from the factory. So that's why when you're riding it, you let off, boom, nose dives. The thing just literally, the engine braking is super, super heavy. We're gonna go in and turn that off. So when you let off the throttle, the fuel injectors will keep spraying just a bare minimum. That way when you go to resume throttle, the transition is much, much smoother and it doesn't throw you on your face as soon as you let off the throttle. So we're gonna go in, get this thing all fixed up. Give me just a second and we're about to have a whole new machine once we get this ECU flashed. Here we go, ECU is flashed, restrictions are removed. Let's see what kind of power this thing makes. I think we're gonna be impressed because the thing actually goes 100% power. I wish we could simulate and show you what it does in first gear. Of course, we can't dyno them in first, but man, the seat of the pants on the street is gonna be huge on this thing. finished up but we're gonna button up a few things on the tune this morning i've got some really good numbers out of this thing so far i'm not gonna lie i think this exhaust uh does the trick we're gonna compare it here in just a second to another mt09 tracer gt that we dynoed same engine same everything um same style factory exhaust 
and we dynoed it with an Akrapovich full exhaust. We're gonna overlay that with this, I guess you would say budget friendly exhaust and we're gonna see how they compare here in just a second. But let's fire this thing up and do what should be our final dyno run. SP is finished we ended up with really good numbers 109 87 65 foot pounds of torque look at those gains really nice smooth gains we went from 98.99 to 109 so 10 horsepower gain there at 10,200 rpms and then also take a look right in here at 7,000 rpms you're going to be in this area a lot we picked up four foot pounds of torque and five horsepower. Those are really get nice gains. And this went all the way through there. Now keep in mind, this is not from just installing the exhaust. This is all from the ECU flash and the dyno tune. So as we promised, let's go ahead and pull up. This is a MT-09 Tracer GT with an Akrapovich exhaust. So as we pull it up, you see it made 112 horsepower and 65 foot-pounds of torque. To make it a little easier to read, I'm going to delete the number one. And now we've just got our green and our red. So the Akrapovich actually made a little less horsepower down low. But then you can see in the higher RPMs, the Akrapovich went a good bit more, making four more horsepower in the upper RPMs at 9,200 RPMs. So take it for what it's worth. Is the Akrapovich worth double the price? I don't know, you tell me. Comment in the comments below. Let me know, is it worth it to you? And which exhaust do you have on your MT-09? Thanks for watching, guys. That's gonna do it for today's video. Be sure you subscribe to the channel. Click the bell for notifications so you get notified every time we upload a video. We appreciate all the support. Go to moremafia.com. Check us out if you have any questions on flashing your ECU or need performance parts for your bike. Hit us up. We appreciate the love and support. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.